Hello students. Today we will discuss the lesson soil profile question and answers if that is improve your learning. Look at the first question children. How can you say soil is a precious resource? Give reasons. So we will explain here now why soil is called as the precious resource. So firstly we will explain soil is the uppermost layer of earth's crust. Yes, soil is the uppermost layer of the earth's crust. It is formed of rock particles and organic matter called humus. It is one of the most important natural resources. So we know natural resources are air, water, sunlight like that. So here soil is also one of the most important natural resource. It supports the existence of living organisms. We can use soil for different purposes in our daily life. Almost all things in our surroundings directly or indirectly depend on soil. The soil supports all plants, animals and microorganisms. We depend on soil for agricultural and construction purposes, making utensils, toys, etc. Plants depend on soil for nutrients like mineral salts and water. So like this we can explain how soil is called as a precious resource. Next. Next second question. Which type of soil is suitable for growing cotton? So for growing cotton, cotton grows well in black loamy soil. Here loamy soil contains pores in the soil. That is pores means small holes in the soil and it holds water well. So it can water hold. It can hold the water. It finds the water inside the crust and supplies to the plant. So in this way the loamy soil helps the cotton plant to grow well. Next third question, give reasons for low percolation rate of clay soil as compared to sandy soil. Here percolation is the water holding capacity, water holding capacity. So we will see the components of the soil influence the water absorbing capacity of the soil. In the clay soil, particles are very compact and they can hold water well. In the sandy soil, sandy soil contains individual particles which are not binded. Hence, they cannot hold water well. Hence, the clay soil has low percolation rate as compared to sandy soil. Okay. Next one, fourth question, why is top soil more useful for us? Here soil is made up of distinct horizontal layers. The top soil is found below the O horizon and above the E horizon. Seeds germinate and plant roots grow in this dark colored layer. It is made up of humus mixed with mineral particles. So here humus is the decomposed organic matter that contains in the top soil. Hence it is very much useful for growth of plants. All the grass crops like paddy, jawar, wheat, millets grow in top soil only. Next question, fifth one. 
What type of soils are there in your village? Make a list of crops grown on this soil. So you can write different types of soil present in your village. I have given some list of soils here. Type of soils and the crops grown in that soil. So first one is black soil. Here black soil is suitable for growing cotton and mirchi that is chillies. Red soil it is useful for growing crops groundnut, castor and cotton also. Sticky black soil. It is useful for growing cotton, sugarcane and paddy. Clay and sandy soil. It is useful for growing jowar, bengal gram and paddy also. Sandy soil. It is used for aquaculture and growing of the coconuts, palm gardens also. So these are the types of soils and the crops grown in it. Next one, sixth question. If a farmer wants to improve water holding capacity of his sandy soil field, what would you suggest him? Here, sandy soil does not hold water. It has low water holding capacity because of the big pore size. So, to improve the water holding capacity of sandy soil, some Clay must be added to it because clay has small pores compared to sandy soil. So by mixing leaves, animal dung, twigs, sludge, we can make sandy soil into a water holding soil. Okay. Next question. Do you think rotting vegetation and animal remains are important for the soil? So, in what way? Rotting vegetation and animal remains contain nitrogenous compound in them. These are very much useful for plants to grow. Next question. Eighth one is a fill in the blank. Roots of grasses hold soil particles. This conserves the top soil. Next question. Which of the following statement is correct? Or if at all it is wrong, correct the wrong one. So first one is soil from, soil form from sand. So firstly we will explain this. Soil is formed from different components like sand, clay, stones etc. Next one. These are wrong statements. So we are giving the correct explanation for the wrong statement. So this is a wrong statement. So we have explained here. Next. Crop rotation protects soil fertility. Yes. This is the true correct statement. So we need not give any explanation. So, so crop rotation protects the soil fertility. Next third question is clay soil can't hold water for a long time. So, this is the wrong statement. So, we will explain here is clay soil can hold water for a long time. Because of the small pore size, it can hold the water for a long period. Next, upper layers of soil are made of rocks. So, it is wrong statement. We will explain here. Upper layers of soil are made of leaves, litter and humus. So, here upper layers of soil are made of leaf, litter and humus. Next question. Tenth one. Collect soil from your school ground. Try to make a ring with that soil. Write down your observations. What type of soil is it? So here is a flow chart for showing which type of soil is it. So is it easy to roll into a ball? The soil which we have taken, that is from the school ground, is it easy to roll into a ball? If it is S, yes, if the soil is forming a ball, then the soil may be sandy loam or light loam or heavy loam or light clay or clay. Like this, if it is forming a ball. If it is not forming a ball, then this soil is sand, sandy soil. Next, if it is 
sandy loam next we'll try for try to roll the ball into a cylinder up to 15 cm long then if it is able to make into cylindrical shape of 15 cm long then if it is yes see but when i try to make the cylinder it can break this is light loam soil it is it can be made into a cylindrical shape but it is breaking at some points then the soil is the light loam soil next we'll try for the next step it breaks on bending then it is loam soil this is loam soil if it is breaking on bending it only bends up to a semi circle then it is heavy loam it forms a ring but it is cracked then it is light clay it is formed a complete ring then it is the clay so in this manner by making the ball cylindrical shape and when it is bending we can know that which type of soil it is whether it is a sandy soil or loam heavy loam light loam or clay so in this matter by using this flow chart we can say which type of soil is it next 11th question take a boiling tube put two spoons of soil in it heat it on a spirit lamp and cover it do this experiment and write your findings do you find any moisture in the soil how can you say that so we'll answer these three questions now firstly we'll perform an experiment so in the experiment we have taken the a test tube boiling tube in it a soil is taken and when it is heated when it is heated the small water droplets will be formed on the surface of this boiling tube that is test tube so for doing the experiment take a boiling tube and put two spoons of soil in it and heat it on a spirit lamp and cover it after some time we observe some water droplets one are formed on the sides of the boiling tube so here actually there will be no water in the soil but the water is absorbed by the soil hence we cannot see the water directly so how we can say that when we heat the boiling tube the water in the soil evaporates and forms as water droplets on the sides of the boiling tube so you can see the water droplets on the sides of the boiling tube hence we can say that water has moisture next question here 12th question najmal's grandmother said human beings always depend on soil is she correct how do you support her statement yes she is correct that human beings always depend on soil as human beings cannot live without air and water in the same way soil is also an essential component in our lives yes we we use soil for different purposes in our daily life almost all the things in our surroundings directly or indirectly depend on the soil so in addition to agriculture that is growing of the crops plants we depend on soil for construction of house making of utensils toys so apart from agriculture we depend on soil for construction of house you making of utensil toys so we depend on soil in this manner we have to explain next question is 13th one if you sow a seed in the soil it will give birth to a tiny plant which grows bigger and bigger it is the wonder of soil shweta said how you express your appreciation of soil like shweta so soil is the uppermost layer of earth's crust it is formed of rock particles and organic matter called humus it is one of the most important natural resources 
it can grow different type of plants so plants depend on soil for nutrients like mineral salts and water soil is different at different places but every type of soil supports the growth of any one type of plants so we can say that soil is a precious resource and it supports different plants to grow next question is a dialogue writing 14th question write a dialogue between seed and soil and perform a small play using your own script so you can write it on your own as a story between two friends that is seed and soil here i have given some dialogues so first seed is speaking to the soil hi soil friend how are you next soil is speaking out hi seed friend i am good how about you seed can you give me shelter in you to grow soil oh welcome you can grow in my soil i am glad and tell me what are your requirements seed i need water and minerals to grow soil i have enough of water and minerals for you to grow seed can you supply me enough of water as i need more water to grow soil i am a loam soil i can hold water in large quantity and to which plant you belong seed i belong to paddy crop so i need water more to grow soil okay friend you can grow i support you seed is saying thank you friend yes like this you can write the dialogues between seed and the soil next question 15th question if you have chance to talk with a soil scientist what questions would you like to ask him about soil so here is the questionnaire i have given you some questions you can add more questions also so first question is how is soil useful for us next question how many types of soils are there what are the different soils present in our state how are soils formed next question are soils different from place to place yes next question so this is the last question 16th one do you find any relationship between the chapters soil and nutrition in plants what are they if they are there is a relation what are they here we can explain soil is a good habitat it supports all plants animals and microorganisms also yes we have different soils on earth like clay soil loam soil and sandy soil etc a number of soils so every soil has unique properties like what are the properties soil possesses water availability water holding capacity nutrients etc so plants depend on soil for nutrients like mineral salts and water from the soil they absorb nutrients and water from the soil so every type of crop needs different minerals and require various different conditions so there is a relation between the soil and the nutrition in plants so in this manner we can explain okay children thank you